In July 1848, in Seneca Falls, New York, women gathered to lay the foundation for the modern equal rights movement. Inspired by speakers Lucretia Mott, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and Frederick Douglass, the convention laid out the Declaration of Rights and Sentiments, a document, as Douglass said, that was the grand basis for attaining the civil, social, political, and religious rights of women. At the end of the Declaration, Elizabeth Cady Stanton wrote, We shall use every instrumentality within our power to effect our object. We shall employ agents, circulate tracts, petition the state and national legislators, and endeavor to enlist the pulpit and the press in our behalf. We hope this convention will be followed by a series of conventions embracing every part of the country. One hundred and sixty years later, our nation faces a different civil rights issue. Tens of millions of American adults and children are being held back, not because they are women, but because they lack the skills needed for success in life. Encouraged by the women's rights pioneers before them, literacy leaders from across the nation called for a new convention. In Buffalo, they declared that the right to literacy must be a new national priority. Delegates discussed and voted on resolutions including improving our workforce, strengthening our families, building our communities, and transforming the literacy system. Like those in Seneca Falls before them, they issued a declaration and a challenge that everyone be able to read and write. The Right to Literacy scroll was signed by delegates and started its journey to Washington to tell our president that change is needed to remind him that literacy is essential for freedom and that change is essential for literacy. Join all those who are making history together, including Literacy Powerline, Read to Succeed Buffalo, Pro Literacy, and the many community literacy coalitions across the country. It affects us all. We expect 100% literacy through 100% community engagement. Add your voice to ours. Add your name to history. Visit literacypowerline.com to learn more about the Declaration, endorse the scroll online, or bring it to your community and sign it yourself. Tell our president we support the right to literacy.